To get started with de novo transcriptome assembly and auto annotation in LaserGene, select de novo transcriptome assembly from the DNA Star Navigator. You can also start by setting up a new assembly in Seekman Engine, selecting transcriptome as your workflow, and specifying de novo assembly as the assembly type. If needed, you can scan for ribosomal RNA and other contaminant sequences by using the Scan for RRNA Contamination option and then adding sequences for your contaminants. Next, select your read technology and load your sequencing data. Now, download a transcript annotation database from the DNA Star website. In this case, I'll choose Plant because I'm working with Brassica transcriptome sequencing data. During assembly, the software will compare the assembled contigs to known genes from RefSeq located in the transcript annotation database, and then cluster contigs into larger, more complete transcripts. Now review the assembly options. If you have limited RAM, you may want to limit the number of reads in the assembly. Here, you can also scan for adapter sequences by checking this option and then loading your adapter file. Next, name your project and specify a save location. Now, start the assembly. After assembly, open the transcriptome package in Seekman Pro. Here you'll see a report of all the assembled transcripts, grouped into two tabs, identified transcripts, which match genes from the RefSeq database, and novel transcripts, assembled de novo without a reference. You can sort this table by any of the available columns, for example, gene name, organism name, Percent Gene Match, which describes how much of the gene in the database matches the assembled transcript, and Percent Identity, which describes the similarity between the assembled transcript and the matching portion of the RefSeq gene. Note that the help file provides detailed explanations for each column. Double-click on a transcript row to open the alignment of the assembled contig. From here, you can also open up the strategy view to see the assembly coverage. You can also select subsets of transcripts and save a FASTA file to use as a reference set for RNA-seq analysis. You can then perform RNA-seq analysis under differing conditions by setting up a new transcriptome assembly, this time selecting reference-based and then loading your assembly results as a reference set. You can either choose the FASTA file of selected transcripts or load the entire .transcriptome package. You can then choose to include identified transcripts, novel transcripts, or both as a reference set for RNA-seq analysis.